Hey guys, I hope you all are doing amazing. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, in today's video, I'm going to talk about the top five uh, profiles for computer science or software engineers, which are in high demand. Okay. Now, before I get into this topic, uh, I wanted to talk about a uh, couple of questions or I wanted to couple, uh, share a couple of questions which might relate with you. Now, let's say you came here for masters and uh, you don't know really which profile you would like to pursue, right? Uh, you got admission in computer science, but uh, you really don't know whether you want to be uh, a full stack developer or you want to be a data scientist or you want to be an ML engineer. You're still figuring out, right? Let's say you are someone who is uh, still in India, who wants to pursue masters in US, but uh, still you are not sure that okay which profile you want to pursue masters in and which specialization in masters you want to do right if you are any one of these uh, people keep watching this video there are amazing profiles which i'm going to share uh, uh, and hopefully it helps you okay so with that let's dive deep into it first of all uh, when you start your masters one of the things that you want to do is right at the beginning you want to finalize the profile that you want to uh, pursue as a career right so one of the top profiles which is always 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 high in demand uh, in silicon valley and across the united states in software engineers or among software engineers is full stack developer right now if you know a full stack developer is someone who knows how to uh, build user interfaces or ui who knows how to build backend services which work in the background and provide and process all the data which is required by ui and you could also be a database engineer who knows how to handle databases, configure them and uh, basically plug them with front end and back end. Right. So if you really love working on front end, building some services and, uh, you know, be involved end to end throughout the system uh, uh, development stages, you would definitely love to be a full stack engineer. Right. Uh, if you are a full stack engineer, there are tons of jobs in the United States and definitely you would land one if you build your skill set right now the second uh, profile which is highly in demand in uh, software industry is of a product manager you know uh, now a lot of students uh, come into the united states and they don't want to be in a programming job day in day out right they wanted to be involved at a product level where, where they would be driving the conversations to prioritize features driving the conversations to uh, roll out a feature roll out a product really work with the customers to understand their problem and you know communicate those problems uh, or in the form of requirements to the teams if you're one of these or if you're someone who wants to have uh, or work in these kind of profiles being a product manager is a best role for you okay now uh, if you haven't chosen your profile or if you really don't know what to do how to become a product manager definitely check out the links i have put in the description section below uh, the third profile that is huge or huge uh, uh, in demand is of devops you know in last two to three years i have seen uh, this devops profile coming in uh, and growing high in demand really fast you know when i came in here in the united states in year 2016 i didn't hear about devops that much but right about time from 2017 18 the demand for devops engineers has gone way up you know they they are also called as sres meaning site reliability, site reliability engineer uh, their day-to-day -day job uh, basically uh, basically involves managing the infrastructure for the services making sure that it has the uh, it has all it needs to serve all the millions of customers that uh, any company you know uh, is serving uh, they make sure that uh, they have proper logging they make sure that they, they have proper uh, dev ci cd pipelines in place to you know enable continuous integration and continuous deployment deployment of code right uh, they make sure that they have proper alerting mechanisms in place uh, so that they can capture any production issues live all of these roles are handled by a devops engineer right now if you are someone who really wanting that insight or uh, working on uh, these infrastructure level uh, uh, things, uh, uh, scheme of things, you would really love DevOps engineer as a role, right? Uh, and if you see, if you search on a Go uh, Google or a LinkedIn uh, jobs by DevOps, you would see tons of positions available for everyone, you know? A word of caution though, 
I feel personally DevOps engineer is one of the profile which is though it's high in demand right now, it can be automated pretty easily uh, in future, which means the job security might not be there in long term. And when I'm saying long term, this is in next five to 10 years, right? Next about five to 10 years. Uh, so if you are someone who wants to be a DevOps engineer, I would definitely recommend at least having or at least mastering one or two languages like Python or maybe one more JavaScript, uh, not JavaScript, but Java, so that in case required, you would always have that option to move into dev roles, right? Or now these were the top three. What were they? First, full stack developer, second, product manager, third, DevOps engineer. Now let's get into, get into the fourth one, right? The fourth role, which is really high in demand and high paying, uh, by the way, is uh, ML or data engineer, right? Now, if you see a lot of you who are coming here nowadays for masters really want to be a machine learning engineer a word of caution there is uh, though machine learning is an upcoming field and it's in boom uh, there are, i haven't seen a lot of uh, like a, uh, the jobs in a very high quantity i mean they are there but uh, more of there are data engineer jobs right rather than actual machine learning job right like where you are actually building an algorithm most of the jobs these days in call just Tweaking, tweaking an algorithm where uh, you are already using an algorithm which is built and you are just changing the parameters. Some of you who don't know how this works uh, uh, under the hood, I, I'm going to put some links below in the uh, description section. Check them out. Uh, definitely you would uh, get a better idea. One of the other things which happens with the ML engineer is they are often uh, expected to have a high level of expertise which is often compared with people who are uh, five or six or 10 years experience in the field, right? That is also a case with uh, other profiles, but given the ML field, and uh, if you don't have that much of experience, you might find it a little bit difficult to find a job, though there are a lot of jobs for ML engineer. Data engineers, on the other hand, are responsible for building the data models, uh, uh, taking a data which is uh, in one format, building a data model, which will convert that data into another format, right? Uh, and their, their job involves around data engineering, right? Uh, getting the data, cleaning the data, mapping the data, and all sorts of related jobs. So if you're someone who likes to work with data um, uh, or want to be a ML engineer, this is the category you want to be in, right? The last category, which is kind of overlaps with the data engineer, uh, not overlaps, but a lot of times the boundaries are a little bit, uh, uh, a little bit blur. Are uh, business analyst, right? Personally, if I have to tell you what what does a business analyst do, the goal of business analyst or the role of, of the business analyst is to take a business data of uh, let's say sales for last ten months or uh, the customers across the country or uh, let's say the purchase orders or any other thing, put it into a dashboard. Uh, using a tools like Tableau or uh, other BI tools and create uh, visualizations which can help to make business decisions, right? Now, if you're someone who want to work on these scheme of things where you uh, want to be more at a business level where you are look physically looking into the data and helping the business to make those critical decisions, this can be a very good profile for you. Now, I know I quickly went through all of uh, these five profiles. Each one of these profiles will make at least 150, 140 to $150,000 in Bay Area. So these were the five top high demand uh, and high paying jobs which are uh, currently available for software engineers. Hopefully this helps you guys. I know I'm just above 11 minutes. If you are still here, definitely, definitely, definitely hit that subscribe button and I'm going to see you soon with an, another amazing video.